Uh, it's time for the math. Easy solution. We're trying to discuss further into integration using tables of integrals. Now go over example three of the example series. And uh, basically to recap, I'll be using the table of integrals found in my calculus book. And you could view that same table by going to this URL, tinyurl.com slash integrals MES. And this is pretty much so uh, that table that you could download from the link or view it. So it's just right here. Here. Anyways, the example I'm going to go over today is uh, basically this one use the table of integrals to solve this one integral of x cubed times sine x dx right here. So if we were to use the table of integrals, let's pop it out so we could just keep scrolling until we get to something similar. It's a trigonomic one, so there's, um, if you go to here, there's a trigonomic forms. So these are different uh, forms of integrals right here. And for ours, we're looking for one that is basically has an x cubed or a u cubed in this case. Yes, so, uh, so uh, basically an x cubed times sine of x. So if we look over here in these, we don't see any x cubed, I mean any u's right here, but we do see right here u, so this is the highest power of, for the formula we have in, in this table of, of integrals, but there are, if you look at 84 and 85, these are called reduction formulas where you have, let's say, u to the power of n, and then you eventually get an integral of u to the power of n minus 1, so this is reduction uh, formula right here. Yeah, so here I've basically copied and pasted formulas 82 all the way to 85, just because these are the only ones relevant to our uh, problem right here because this one has u I mean, x cubed this has the highest power is just, uh, just power of one but here we could reduce from a three up to a two in you know, n minus one right here up to a two and then this would switch this cosine and the sine into a cosine which we we could use this reduction formula that has a cosine to get from two to one and then use this one right here and uh, this 83, that's, that's if this was a cosine, then we would eventually get to the formula 83. So from this, we could use uh, this step one, then step two, then step three. Yeah, and I'll show you that right here. So integral of x cubed sine x dx. This equals two using this reduction formula equals to negative u, which is just x in this case, power of three, that's n cosine x plus 3 which is n integral of u and now we have uh, right here yeah the u is just x so x squared cosine x dx right here yeah and now uh, what we have right here so we gotta go reduce this again using well this one right here so we will take this formula there I'll write this one integral x squared cosine x dx. And now this equals 2. We apply this formula. We get u to the power of um, an x power of 2 sine x minus 2. n is basically 2 now before it was 3. And then integral of x. Now that's n minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just 1. And we have a sine x dx right here. Actually, this is not an integral right there. Yeah, I forgot to just remove that. So we have this right here. And now what we could do is the last part, which is, well, solving uh, this integral. Yeah, and this one we could just use equation 82 to solve this, because that is uh, u sine u or x, x sine x. So this part right here will have an x sine x right here dx this equals 2 simply sine x minus uh, x cosine x right here and then plus a constant in this case we'll call it constant 1 uh, c1 right here because later we'll have it multiplied all out so now we plug this well back into here and then this back into here so we get overall x cubed sine of x dx equals 2 negative x cubed cosine x plus 3 multiplied this by this right here so we have an x squared sine x 
minus two, and then the two has inside right here, sine x minus x cos x right here inside. I'll so I'll take this uh, bracket out plus c one right here. So what we all get is multiply this all out. We get equals to negative. This is x cubed cosine x. And then we plus right here, 3x squared sine of x. And then we have to minus, well, it's going to be a 6. So minus 6, and then multiply this inside. 6 sine x. That's a, a negative, so it becomes positive right here. Plus 6x cosine x. And then this is going to be, well, a minus. Yeah, it's going to be now a minus uh, 6 times by c1, and again, this is a constant regardless, so we'll just call this plus constant c, where basically c equals to negative 6c1. And uh, this is just for completion's sake, but it's all a constant, so you can just leave it that. And this is pretty much our final answer. We could circle all of this like that. It's a pretty long answer, but that's that's it. Yeah, and as you can see, using these tables and these formulas, you could quickly solve it uh, fairly. Um, yeah, so it makes it much easier than having to do this uh, by hand and trying to derive whatever the formula would be here. Anyways, that's all for today. If you'll learn from this uh, quick video on tables and integrals, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.